American Mahjong is a complex game, and for many players, picking a hand is easier said than done. In the first video in the series of how to pick a hand, we did random pulls to demonstrate how to find the strength in a dealt hand. In the second video of the series, we did Charleston modeling to demonstrate how to pick a hand three ways. In this video, we're going to bring the efforts together in a game of solitaire and demonstrate how to pick a hand three ways from beginning to end. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way, we'll be able to track the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. Most players have a preferred style. So we're going to assign the styles in advance. We'll have East play fixed. They will pick their hand right from the beginning. We'll have South play adaptive. They will pick a category and they won't pick a hand till they run out of discards. We'll have West do the same thing. North will play a hybrid. They're going to play adaptive during the Charleston, then they'll pick a hand going into the next phase of the game. Fixed, adaptive, hybrid. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. East has a flower, a south and a white dragon, two dots, lots of bams with a pair, three cracks. This I think is where we should start with the twos. Build around the multiple. I think a two, four, six, eight hand would be good. So let's see what we could play. Under the even category on the mock American Mahjong card, there's three one suit hands. The first one, the third one, and the concealed one with news. There is one with mixed suits and the opposite dragon. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. This would be the second hand down. Pair, pair, pung, 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 Kong. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. There is a hand, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. With a flower. Pair, pair. Kong, kong. And this would be a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe this would be better. Fifth hand down. Okay. Let's play the fifth hand down. Flower, two, four, six, eight. Three suits. We're going to get rid of all those. We're going to pick the fourth hand down and stick with it. I don't like to pass white dragons. 
Let's give up the south and pass one of each suit. Well, let's just pass one of each suit and save the south. Okay, we're ready to check out player two, also known as south. For player two, we have a pair of flowers. Flowers are really hard to come by, I think. So if you've got them, try to use them. We have a east and a green, dots with two pair, two bams and a crack. Let's do something with five, six, that's consecutive. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, two suits. Second hand down. Let's play consecutive run, hopefully using these flowers. So let's pass those three. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to be adaptive. We're just going to play the consecutive category. We're not going to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. North, green, two, one, two, one. These are dots. We have two. Then we have bams with a pair. Four cracks, singles. I think I would build around the six. We do have three, six, nine. We could do four, three, four, five, six. So let's hold consecutive run, three, four, five, six. And we'll hold the nine just in case 369 comes in. So we're going to be between two categories. Consecutive run and 369. We're not going to pick a hand. We're not even going to look at the card. We're just going to gather. Gather for consecutive run or 369. Let's pass one of each suit. Now let's check out player four, also known as North. Flower, single winds and dragons, three, six, nine and dots, three bams with a pair, three cracks. We do have three, six, nine potential, but we have a pair of ones. Maybe we could do consecutive run or three, six, nine. Let's hold the ones and the two. We have tiles we can pass. Let's give up a west so we're not passing like numbers. So we're in between 369 or consecutive run. Mix suits. We're ready for the Charleston. East passes to south. South. To west, west to north, north to east. Two, four, six, eight is what we want here. Two, four, six, eight, crack dot. So we didn't get any keepers. We can just pass those just like they are. I don't think we can improve on that at the moment because we have all six, seven, eight. Although, if I were playing adaptive, I would switch my hand. I would play 2468. Let's pass those and we'll just keep those. We picked a hand already. 5678. We can pass those three. Or four, five, six. I want to use these flowers though. If we get a four ban, we could play the third hand down. We could maybe even use this four, five, six, seven. Let's just pass those. 
although four, five, six, we do have the potential for four, five, six, seven, eight, but we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. I want to leverage the flowers. We've got an east. We have some news potential there. News with 369 maybe. We don't have any flowers though. This would be the concealed hand under 369. We can pass those. Here's a three though. Let's go with 369. We have some options there. And we can pass one of each suit. We got a pair. Anytime you develop another pair, reassess. In this case, I don't think it's helpful. We did get a, a one and a two. So we have ones, like numbers with ones. If we get jokers, we could maybe play a quint. I wonder if we could play something consecutive with those dragons. There's a fourth hand down, two suits. Let's see, one, two, white. One, two, white, fourth hand down. The potential is there. So let's hold consecutive and break that up. We'll play consecutive or like numbers. So we're ready to go to the next pass. Across, east and west, north and south. Two, four, six, eight is what we want here. I would just pass those. We've got a six, five, six. Pung. Let's pass the dragon. If we can get a white dragon, we could play the fourth hand down. Five, six dragon, but you can't use a joker with a pair. Let's just keep the six for now. So here we're looking for three, six, nine. If we can get a nine, bam, that would be ideal. We could maybe do something consecutive though. Five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight with news. Let's keep that seven and pass those three. We do have a nine. We could potentially play a year hand, but there are no multiples with the number tiles. We really don't have to pick a hand yet. Let's just stay flexible and continue passing. There is a potential for one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four consecutive. Let's give up the nine. That's a little risky being consecutive like that, but at least it's two suits. So we went across. Now we're going to do first left. East passes to north, north to west, west to south, and south to east. Two, four, six, eight. We didn't get a keeper. If we get a six dot, we could maybe switch that around. Same hand, different suit. Let's pass those three. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I think five, six, seven, eight might be better. Two suits with flowers.
if we can get the dragon. We need the red dragon. This is the fifth hand down. Pear, pear, pung, pung, pear. So we need a red dragon. That's a gap. But we could also do the second hand down. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's pass on the eight here. We have three, six, nine potential. We got the nine. News with three, six, nine. Let's give up the seven and the one. Three, six, nine. We could maybe even do three, six, nine in one suit with dragons. The very first hand. We got a one. One, two, three, four. Like numbers with ones, maybe a quint if we can get jokers. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's pass that. And then let's give up. Let's give up the two crack. I was thinking we could do one, two, dra uh, dragon. But if we play the quint, we'll need this dragon. We can't keep it all. One, two, three, four. One, that uses one, two, three, four. There's three tiles. One, two, dragon is less. So let's pass the two. So that was first left. Now we're going to do second left. East passes to north, north to west, west to south, and south to east. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, we got the eight crack. If we can get a six dot instead of a six crack, we can switch these two numbers. Same hand, different suits. So let's go ahead and give up. The eight. We got a keeper. Seven. Two tiles to pass. Flowers. Two, two, pear, pear, pung, pung. We need a dragon. Or five, six, seven, eight. We just did second left. We need to go across, so we have to pass. Let's give up the six. We could always pung by discard. And if we can get the white dragon, or no, red dragon is what we want. If we can get a red dragon, we could play that, that fifth hand down. That is a gap, but we could still play five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. And I would not pass a flower in this case. Three, six, nine is what we're looking for. We could probably make this better by swapping out the seven there with the two. Okay, here we've got a dragon, one, two dragon in one suit. One, two dragon, one suit, that's the fourth hand down. There's potential there. Let's go ahead and give up one of these dragons or maybe the one. We still have like number potential though, even though there's a big gap, let's keep the dragon and pass the one instead. So we did second left. Now we're going to go across. East and west pass. And north and south. We're looking for two, four, six, eight. A six dot would be great here. We'll just pass those. Five, six, seven, eight. We want a red dragon specifically. Three, six, nine, news. Oh, we got a south. Okay, I would play the concealed hand here. Let's keep these tiles though for an option. We did a second across. We're going into first or last right. So let's pass those three. 
We'll keep our options open with consecutive to, uh, this is an option though too. Let's give up a three. Because there's that 369 with the dragon. Here we picked up a one. That like number would have been nice, but we passed on the one dot. Let's just forward it. We could do one, two, three, four, or we could do one, two, dragon. We really don't need these though. Maybe we can give up the red and keep the one for potential like numbers if the one dot comes back. So that's the cross. Let's do last right. East passes to south, south to west, west up to north, north to east. We got the six dot. Okay, that's looking a little better. Two, four, six, eight. Now we have two multiples in there. So we can pass those three. Five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we can get that six back. Five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. I would, I would hold it this time and pass two for optional cross. Three, six, nine. We do have an option with the nine. Three, six, nine with nines. That would be the second hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. We did get some consecutive tiles. White dragon. One, two, dragon is an option. One, two, three, four is an option. Like numbers is a long shot. I would pass those three by process of elimination. So now we're going to do optional cross. East and West pass fully. South wants two. No keepers. We have a lot of discards here. I would throw the one first. Hold the dragons, maybe we could get a joker. We got a keeper. Flower, five, six, seven, eight. I'd probably play the second hand down since we have no red dragon and I would use the flowers as joker bait. If you wanna know more about joker bait, look in the video description below. There are three videos, I think, that talk about it. That is a term coined by Tom Sloper at Sloperama. And basically you hold the tiles, even if you don't need them, in the middle game, you discard one, someone makes an exposure with a joker and you make an exchange later and get a joker in your hand. That's how it's supposed to work. Maybe we can demonstrate it. We got a six, but really I think we are, oh, we got the West, news. Okay, I think that solidifies it. News with 369 concealed. And the six bam is a pair. All we need in here really is a flower, but I would leave my options open and discard those first. No keepers here. This was a struggle the whole way. We've got lots of discards, probably five, six discards. This one suffered the most. When you pick a hand and stick with it, if you don't get those right tiles, look at all these discards. Here, we have no gaps and joker bait. Three discards, including joker bait. Here, we have a hand, maybe two, maybe even three. So I'd say here, we have probably five discards. Up here, we have six discards, seven discards, kind of like this here. So I do see a trend where the fixed is typically more difficult during the Charleston. 
Adaptive is more fluid. All the styles can work though. So let's stick with the plan. We're, we picked a hand here. We are gonna actually pick a hand here because we have no gaps. Here, we're in between the first hand, the concealed hand, maybe the second hand from the bottom. Here, we're now gonna pick a hand because we played hybrid where we were flexible through the Charleston, but now we're gonna actually pick a hand. So we could play one, two, three, four, that's six tiles. Or we could play one, two, dragon, that's six tiles. I don't think I would do like numbers, so I would discard those. Probably I would get rid of the dragon first, then the year tiles. Usually that's to sabotage the big year hand on the card. If anyone's playing that, if you get rid of year tiles, you can just eliminate that hand by discards or exposures. So we have six towards each, both use the one. Since one, two, three, four can use any number of jokers. Let's pick that hand. One, two, three, four, second hand down. Maybe we can, maybe we can get some jokers out of those valuable tiles. We'll see. Okay, so we finished the Charleston. Let's discard. One dot. We're going to use this to mark whose turn it is. Four bam. Let's get rid of three crack. It's six one half dozen the other. Three bam is a keeper. Let's discard six crack. West. We can get rid of the wind. Green dragon. Look at all those dragons. Let's discard two crack. Those are all discards. North. If you're not using wins, consider discarding them right away. So not a lot of people play wins. As you can see here, this player is, but they're only using it for news. Five bam. Right now we're holding these for an option. Three, six, nine with nines. Second hand from the bottom. But we have our news, so really those should probably be discarded. We got a three dot, that is a keeper. One, two, three, four, pung, kong, pung, kong. We can pung that, but boy, do we need help with our kongs. Let's discard the West. Five crack. Seven crack. Doesn't look like anybody wants cracks. Flower. We needed that pair, single news, pung, pair, pung. I'll put this in order like the card. Let's discard three, six, nine with nines. Don't use the flowers really. And neither does the dragon hand. Let's go ahead and let's just get rid of the eight dot. And then we'll start discarding those. East. Three crack. All these cracks nobody wants. Let's get rid of the cracks. Oops. That six bam did come in. Maybe we should keep the six eight. Oh wait, it's the wrong suit.
So let's see. We threw a three crack. It's this player's turn. Flower, we don't need it. Let's get rid of the four bam. Let's just look and see. If we had a white dragon, I might consider the fourth hand down. But really, we're one away from being set here. I would discard those, as painful as it is. Joker. That's useful. Let's get rid of the green dragon. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Flower. One, two, three, four. That's Joker bait now. Let's get rid of the green dragon. Joker. Very nice. Let's get rid of the green dragon. 5 BM, not a keeper. We want to try to get rid of Joker bait by the end of the third wall or around the middle game, really, is when you should start thinking about that. So we're going to hold on to that as long as possible. Let's draw. North, we've already got our north. One dot, we don't need it. Seven dot, let's get rid of the cracks. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. We want that, two, four, I almost threw that away. Seven crack, okay, two, four, six, eight. Boy, that, that could have been a fatal mistake. Let's draw. Green Dragon, those are all out. 5 BAM. One dot, we keep getting that, one dot. Okay, we just got through the second wall. When the second wall is depleted, Everybody should know what category they're in at a minimum. Here we're doing evens, consecutive run, 369 and consecutive run. So everybody's in pretty good shape. We have no gaps, no gaps, no gaps, no gaps. We got to build though. No, two dot. That's a year tile. One crack. Three crack. White dragon. That could be joker bait. Let's discard two dot. West. Seven dot. Nine crack. Three, six, nine with nines. But we have news and we need Kongs there. Let's hold that for Joker bait and discard the nine dot. Seven dot. Nobody wants cracks. I should be getting rid of those. Red dragon. Joker bait. Let's just card seven dot. One crack. Joker. Very nice. Nine crack. Nobody wants it. So that'll be safe. Six crack. Nobody can take it. We need a six dot here. Flower four bam, nine bam. This is concealed. Keeper, 
they are set. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. We can Kong and Pung. Let's get rid of the first flower. And nobody can take it. These two want it, but they need it for a pair. Can't call for a pair. Keeper, look at there. This hand is ready to win on a flower. Nine crack. Eight dot. Let's get rid of the cracks that nobody wants. Two bam. We need pair, pair, pung, pung, pair. Oh, wait. Two, four, kong, kong. So let me just double check. I'm not used to playing on the mock card. This is the fourth hand down. Pair, 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 pung, pung. Pair, 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 kong, kong. So we don't need that two bam. Oof. Okay. Here we go. Two dot. We don't need it. We're going to hold on to that because maybe people weren't ready. We're still in the middle of the middle game. So maybe one, two, three, four more picks and we'll get rid of those. Four bam. Okay, now that is the second one out. So this is getting a bit tight for this player. White dragon. Here's a pung. Let's get rid of the four crack. This player may need to switch their hand. At this point, I might try to play seven, eight dragon as an option under consecutive run, fourth hand down, because there's only two more, uh, one more of these out. West. One crack. Seven crack. We need a, we need a flower here to win. Seven dot. Nine dot. Four crack. Two crack. This hand is not moving at all. Six crack. Nine bam. That's Mahjong. No, it's not. We need a flower. And this is concealed. Joker. Whoops. Flower. Mahjong. Three, six, nine with news. So this player threw it. This is a 30 point hand. So this player would owe 60. These two would owe 30. As far as results, these two players are the closest. One discard, ready to Pung and Kong, ready to win. This player, they had no jokers, so they couldn't call on anything. A two bam went down, but they weren't ready for it. And they had a lot of joker bait because they picked a hand. It locked it, they, they got locked in. They may, might have been able to play this, but their tiles even still didn't go down. This three, four with dragons and use this as joker bait. That was a tough game. And down here, we ended up getting the eight and needed a little help with the six and this four was the risk. Especially with pairs, when you pick a hand with pairs, that can be a really rough road. So if you play fixed, try to play a pung hand like this because then you can use jokers to help you if your pairs go down.
Each of these styles has benefits and liabilities. Each can be successful with the right decision making at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, do random pulls to practice finding the strength in a drawn hand. When you're comfortable with that skill, do Charleston modeling and practice each of these styles. Pick a style and play live or online. Try each one and then pick the style that's most comfortable for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.